Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with the first update to the Beverly Hills Cop Nova build. And we're going to be starting off with some chassis work. And I wanted to give a quick demonstration of one of the fixes I do because I will not be using the kit supplied dual exhaust system. So what we've got here is some mount holes for where the mufflers are going to go. And they had some up here too, so you can sort of get an idea of what I'll be doing. What I do is I take some 100 mil rod stock and I tape at the end like that. And I take a liquid glue that softens plastic. Just really fill up the hole there. So you can see it's actually puddled up in there. And then Take the tapered end, swedge it in the hole, and then clamp down on it to really get it seated. And do the same thing on the other side. And doing this gets the plastic so that it really locks between the rod that I've created and the kit supplied parts. And that plastic is going to be really solidly bonded together so that I can go through, cut off these ends, sand it, and there won't even be a seam. I'll let that sit for a while, and we'll come back to it and check on how it looks. So now I've let it dry overnight, and then gone back and trimmed off the pegs. As you can see, it's a pretty clean finish there. I do have to do a little bit of filler on this one, because the plastic that was there was pretty thin. But the other three, I probably don't need to do anything else to. Maybe just a little spot of texturing. So, that's all done, and now it's time to get some paint on it and things are looking pretty good. You can still see where the plugs are if you know what you're looking for, but really they're not too bad, and once I add some weathering to it, they'll disappear entirely. Uh, in the meantime, I've got the primer gray with the blue overspray around the edges. I've got the fuel tank painted steel, and I've got the front subframe modified and painted as well. And for modifications, uh, this had a metal front axle in the kit, so I wanted to replace the front end with something a little better looking. And what I did was I carved down the block that originally held the front end, added some filler pieces in there, and then took some lower A-arms from my parts box and put those in there. So, looks a lot better than it did. Maybe not 100% prototypically correct, but not bad, and certainly a lot better than it was. I'm still waiting for my six-cylinder engine to arrive, and as soon as that does, I'll be able to build and install that so that I know where the exhaust pipe's got to run, and I'll be able to put the rear axle in at that point. And then I'm going to be doing the heavy weathering on this. I'll probably do a little bit of preliminary stuff, but the heavy is going to have to come after everything is assembled. So that's it for now. Uh, next project, I'm going to start work on the body, which does need a few modifications in addition to the dents. But I'll be starting on that next week, so check back then. Thanks for watching.